What's up guys, the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 arriving next month on 7th has passed through Geekbench. It sports model number SM970F and is powered by an Exynos 9825 SoC made it to 8 gigs of RAM. This isn't the first time the Note 10 has paid a visit to Geekbench through. Last month, it was spotted on the benchmark database bearing model number SMN976B with the same chipset and RAM amount. However, SMN970F has occurred better than SMN976B in the Geekbench test, suggesting that software development has made a lot of progress since. There's also a Snapdragon 855 powered variant of the Note 10 carrying model number SMN976V with 12 gigs of RAM, which scored less than SMN970F in Geekbench single core test, but got higher points in a, in a multi core test. And yeah, guys, Samsung Insider Ice Universe also posted a screenshot on Twitter that shows Geekbench scores for the Galaxy Note 10 phone packaging 8 gigs of RAM and the Samsung's new Exynos 9825 chipset. We are looking at 4495 and 10223 in single and multi core test which is even higher than the Galaxy S10, closing in the gap with the latest iPhone. The iPhone XS Max reached nearly 4811,200 4, in similar tests, while the Exynos-based S10 goes up to 4300 and 9800 in Geekbench. The Note 10 will come in two variants, while it comes to processors, just like every Samsung flagship before, including Qualcomm and Samsung Silicon. What's interesting about this leak is that the Note 10 is packing an Exynos 9825 chip, an upgraded version of the 9820 that's found inside the Galaxy S10 phones. The Exynos 9825 will bring noticeable improvements according to this leaked benchmark, but does that mean the Snapdragon variants of the phone will deliver similar performance gains when it comes to benchmarks? Which brings us to my next question, will the Snapdragon variants of the Note 10 feature the 855 or the 855 Plus platform? Qualcomm the other day teased a faster performance as well as notable graphics improvements for the 855 Plus without naming any of the companies that will employ the new chip in smartphones launching in the second half of the 2019. Benchmark score, of course, don't tell the whole story. The Samsung is one of the companies that was caught cheating in test in the previous years. So yeah guys, that's it for today. Now what's your thoughts on this? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and yeah, smash the subscribe button and press the bell icon for more latest news and as always, I will catch you tomorrow in the next one. Peace out.